We're heading to Ebbsfleet International and we're catching a train all the way up to Sheffield to go and see the team at Killis who are manufacturers and importers of cleaning equipment, robotics, IMOPs, etc. So we're going to see the team up there, see what they've got to offer, see what's new to the market and try out some kit. Real nostalgia, 1964, some of them vacuums are 100 years old, born before even I am. So let's go and see now some of the more modern technology that is in the marketplace. So we've just arrived at Killy's HQ. Um, Charlotte's gonna show us around and we're gonna have a look at some of the kit that the guys have got down there, meet different department heads and see what the guys up here are all about. But already from first impressions, they've got three buildings. They've got two of the Killy buildings and they've got their motor scrubber brand as well, which we have actually tried and tested within the business and it's a fantastic product. And we're looking forward to uh, having a look around. Yeah, right. so so basically we've got the Lion's Bot that's the range. Yeah. Um we and then they're called Leo um so Leo Scrub, Leo Vac, Leo Pull right. and Leo Mop. Um but Lion's Bot is uh, is the oh, right. company. So these these are Lion's Bots. Yep. And um and yeah, so this particular one's a Leo Mop, so this is mop mop, mop the floor. floor. Uh, that one over there. Um, let's have a look. This one's the scrub. <laughs> So this so is a scrubber dryer. Scrub, scrub yeah, yeah, exactly. So these can be totally own branded. So they have, you know, shirts on. Same. Where did I see that? I see this. Did I see a Sodexo? Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, Compass. Um, they've had uh, as well. MediRest. Uh, they've done a, a huge rollout within the, a lot of their um, hospitals. Yeah. Again, an awful lot of media traction. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we'll deploy them to hospitals, um, and in between the actual cleaning tasks, they'll be on a children's ward, high dependency. And this, you know, BBC News, ITV News, James Corden Show, I'm sure you wouldn't yeah, have Yeah, no, I haven't. No, <laughs> really. no, New no. York Times, <laughs> you know, it, we've got loads of links for it where it's, it's just goodwill stories everywhere. Yeah. And that's outside of its cleaning tasks. Yeah, yeah. about doing what it's actually there to do. So yeah. if we get the little one out of the way first, yeah. and then we'll do the whole race. Yeah, sure. So the Kubatic 1700. Did I see you just put these in the Yes, that's, that's right, that's yeah. That's the machine. Yeah. So it's kind of the moment, the pinnacle of disc back technology. Yeah. So historically, we all would have seen very similar looking machines that you could buy off the shelf, be a man gadget, you'd give to your partner for Valentine's Day and she went mental. <laughs> it was literally how it went. Yeah, you've got it spot off. Yeah. So, uh, and what they used to do, you'd put them in your room, uh, you'd turn it on and it would kind of drive around your room and it'd be like a pinball effect. Yeah. So it would just ricochet, wall to wall, da -da 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 Looked great, however, you never knew if it actually cleaned all the areas yeah. and it would just keep going till it stopped. So that technology was never suitable for the commercial cleaning world right. because it was inconsistent, yeah. unreliable, and you weren't able to prove that you had completed a cleaning task. Mm -hmm. And obviously the battery degradation because it never stopped. Sure. So we went through a lot of trial and testing and we actually have this machine purpose designed for us. So it yeah. looks like similar machines, but the technology has been upgraded to a point where longer run times, higher vacuums. When it goes from the carpet to the wood floor, if it's cleaning, you'll hear the change in the noise where it changes its own vacuum. Right. But more specifically for the FM world, like Travelodge, yeah. when it starts its task, I'll show you on here now, it'll produce a map of the area, right. and then it will consistently clean, as if you were cutting the grass. Sure. Walk up, turn back, go around the edge first, edge clean, and up and down, and then stop. So more efficient, more so methodical. Methodical, yeah. efficient, does 100% of its task and mm. stops. So from a contract cleaning point of view, yeah. the cleaning company can go to Travelodge and say, we know we've done this room yeah. because this is how it works and we can show you the proof of it as well. So let me just change screens. Um, so I've, I've drawn it a fake travel lodge bedroom. So as long as I haven't killed the process by leaving the room as it were. So it's now driving off to its travel lodge bedroom. So you'll see it now moving towards the grey area here is the yeah. Travelodge bedroom. Oh, okay. So what you're gonna, you can go over there and have a look, it's fine. So you actually locate yourself to the work area as yeah. well? Yeah, you can come across. So that area I've given it is a Travelodge bedroom. I've given it red areas that it can't drive can't through, so it's controlled within the environment. Yeah. Uh, form factor wise, they yeah. all look very similar, sure. but like anything, it's what 
the components of the machine, yeah. the quality of the motors, the battery. So if you look on here now, you can see it's completed the circumference of the hotel bedroom. They all then plan a route, and now it's starting to go in nice, even, systematic cleaning patterns, yeah. which is key for commercial cleaning. Yeah. A, it covers the whole area and completes the task. Yeah. And because it uh, turns itself off or stops where you started the machine the task, yeah. you can move it to the next room and next room and actually get multiple rooms out of the battery, okay. as opposed to leaving it to... Yeah. We can look at cleaning history and it'll, so this is what we've just done and it automatically tells you the area you've done, where it cleaned, how many square meters and the time it took. Yeah. So now you have contract compliance. Yeah. And the MI that gives is much more than most cleaning companies would be able to give you. I mean, given given that, isn't it? It's crazy, isn't yeah. it? Everything the market's got. You know, we, we've cleaned X amount of square footage today or meters square. So if from a fleet management point of view, mm. if, you put all, if you had all the systems in uh, a hotel group, yeah. I'm leaving brand names out. Um, you can go in and you can see all the devices acting like so on the one app you can have multiple devices yeah. you can see them live yeah and if your client goes hang on a minute machines we haven't done any clean on this area yeah. like you just said you can go in you can pick you know machine seven is on floor four sure. and you can go dip 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 there's yeah. your data yeah. okay. so th this is something that um that we pretty much invented working in, in with the hotel industry um, and this is what we call the the base unit so with this, you've just got one simple charge point that means you can actually charge all of the robots at once. Yeah. So when it comes to the cleaning store cupboards, um, you know, you don't actually have to have all the individual units on the floor for them all to go to, yeah. but you pick them up, put them back on the unit and you've got one central central charging area. And also you can wheel this then, you know, floor to floor. Yeah. You can put other supplies on the top and this becomes your, your almost your, your just trolley. Empty, just empty the back. There are different systems. So okay. this, this is specifically for the kind of contract deployment where you take multiple systems to one floor, mm -hmm. maybe two operatives to take a couple each on a tree to clean okay. trolley. You can have a standalone system where it returns. Yeah. Or uh, as an optional extra, say you're going to have an executive suite of offices where one machine's not always going to stay there. Yeah. We have a self-empty inversion that will reverse in, empty its waste into a HEPA-filtered okay. vacuum bag, okay. recharge, then go back up with its tasks so the actual interaction's far less. Yeah. Yeah, and to actually get into, get into it, you just remove it from here. It comes standard with a HEPA filter yeah. and a cleaning tool. Yeah, so inside here you've actually got your cleaning tool as well so that you can I don't think out. I've ever seen, I have seen a cut of vacuum, I've never seen a filter. Either. Yeah, so you uh, can clean out your filter, also yeah. if there's any blocked hair we, inside your brush roller. We, we challenge our contract cleaners to say, look, buy one, you know, they're very effective cost price, mm. take it home, vacuum your own carpets and then run it three times across the carpet. Yeah. Because everyone's like, well, it's such a small compact machine. Yeah. But because of the high level of agitation, yeah. and a, a lot of disc vacs only reply, rely on the spinning brush. Yeah. This one's got a high that speed one, yeah. spinning brush with roller. squeegee roller in it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's got a very strong vacuum motor. Yeah. So it generally does vacuum at the same time. And everybody always says, because it's round, does it get into the corners? But that's why these the side edge brushes protrude, so that it actually gets into the corners. Um, yeah, so this was a solution for them so that they could take things and charge them all at once. Yeah, and then premium, right? moving up to the lion's bot. I've, been, I've been secretly looking forward to seeing this. Have you? Why are you going to let it to last? <laughs> <laughs> Always start with the little one. <laughs> within the UK marketplace, there's been a diverse development within robotic cleaning processes. Yeah. Uh, we've moved very much to a cobotic system. So we're all about working and maximising our operatives. Yeah. Everybody were originally were pushing robotics. So you'd have very, like this sort of machine, you'd have a machine that looked like this, yeah. that somebody would outsource their operating system, glue it into the process, and claim it to a robot at the time. So it meant we'd go to site, um, companies would over-promise and deliver with very industrial looking machinery that really didn't work within the cleaning FM world. Yeah. And, and on top of that, generally, they weren't very good cleaning machines. Sure. They'd leave a lot of water, there'd be no yeah. pickup, there'd be poor run times. Um, and we tried a lot of machines along with the FM providers. Yeah. Tried a lot of products and a lot of processes um, and managed to secure the Lions Bot range. It looks so, fantastic, stick. And, and I mean, these are the original generation machines, but the new ones no. are even better. Um, so, where Lions Bot have made a difference, the machines they've built not only are fantastic cleaning machines, yeah. uh, with great run times, very short recharge times. The scrub that we'll see shortly was the first one by one of our FM companies to be signed off for healthcare from a health and safety point of view. 
So forgetting all the other features we're going to show you in a minute, yeah. from a health and safety point of view, it was the only machine they tested in three years yeah. that when it turned was dry. Right. A lot of robots, when they turn, tend to leave yeah, water. Yeah. Whereas the, the Leo Scrub, because it's articulating squeegee, yeah. it's high vac motors, and it's built to be a low water system. Right. So there's li less water going on the floor. But what really helped was, as you can see, the form factor. Yeah. So it's been humanized, it's been developed, so it'll work with operatives. Yeah. So in a hospital, they'll send the Leo Scrub out, it will clean 90% of the floor. We've already got short staff. The staff yeah. that we do know have are doing touch rails, infection points. Especially in healthcare. healthcare. But from a perceptual point of view, if you, mm. which one is Alex? If you'd like to go very loud and say, I'm Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello, I'm Alex. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So you can say things like, Alex, tell me a joke. Would you like to hear a joke? Yes, please. Why did the maths book look so sad? I it has many problems. <laughs> so they're all quite uh, aimed at the younger markets because it's there is a goodwill piece. Yeah. But at the same time, it states to the, the customers or the footfall of the patients that the hospital is invested yeah. in the latest technology so they can focus on the, the cleaning that keeps them yeah. safe. Nobody cleans from a sanitizing and spot cleaning point of view better than a human. Yeah, you know, they yeah, can identify yeah. dirt, grime, yeah. you know. but. We take these very skilled operatives and we put them on a floor cleaning machine and they just drive up and down. Yeah. Well, actually, they can protect us by using their skill set from touch point cleaning, cross infection control, two stage cleaning processes. The things the machine can't do consistently. Yeah. You know, let them do the mundane floor bit, free the cleaner. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, I've been sort of been toying this in my head, like where does where do where would robotics, robotics fit into a day to day cleaning scheme? Yeah. You know, and like now you've said it like that, where they work alongside each other and you know, floor cleaning. They haven't got to do the floor cleaning because that's been done, and they can focus on, like you say, other, other so, areas. I mean, the operative will still do, uh, unless you're using a sweeping robot, yeah, it might sure. do dust control, yeah. corners, edges, and then it's increased frequency of touch point cleaning. Yeah. The operative gets an app, very simple to use. When it comes to cleaning, you get to choose to work. Up comes the map of where we are. We've given it a clean area. Mm -hmm. You just press clean. It will clean the area. And what's key from uh, ROI point of view and time management, yeah. when it finishes, they can send it via the app to anywhere on the map to any other cleaning task. They don't have to return to get Somewhere. it. Yeah. So, I mean, some of these places are huge. You can have two miles of corridor in a hospital. Oh, cool, yeah. So, you know, if the machine has stopped a mile away, they've got a, a lot of systems you've got to go back and fetch it. Sure. By this one, they can just deploy around. So um, you can press the green track, rectangle, it's fine. And that uh, you can guess. Yeah. We were working from Bombardier and they've got so the, the instructions have changed. Right. And then we come away. Okay. And that's as simple as I haven't told you what to do. It's as yeah. simple as that. <laughs> so we do all the setup work, we build the schematics of the building. How long does that take? Depends on the size of the building. Uh, the, the original map is as, much, as long as it takes you to walk at this pace. Right. We don't need to circulate it, we don't need to go up and down, we could just do one area. We don't need to remap it for slight changes, we don't need to clean walls. Yeah. So this is a mop, this is a side. This is using a microfiber roller as most to scrub the floor, mm -hmm. which then also picks up liquid and it's sucked off, and then the pad at the back just adds extra drying. Right. Hi, so sorry, but you're in my way. Could you please move? Thank you! Oh, well. oh, great machines. Lovely. Thank you. I've been, I say, that's really look forward to seeing them in yeah, yeah. action. Um, Would yeah. you like it to sing you a song? Yeah, go on then. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Do you reckon it's going to be as good as Marcy? Because he's obviously seeing me in the bar. Alex, play me a song. Oh my gosh! You want me to sing to you? Itsy bitsy spider climbed up the Classic. water spout. <laughs> Down came the rain. No, you can, and you can see the you can see the value. Out came the sun and right up all the rain. Put some rain the itsy bitsy so. spider climbed up the spout again. Maybe you could ask Alex what Alex wanted to be when Alex grew up. Let me children boy. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, what did you want to be when you grew up to be a big robot? 
What do I want to be when I grow up? Oh, no, no. I am never growing up. That's so boring. But I do want to become the friendliest scrubby boss there ever was. Yeah, I did it first. That's right. That's right. No, you can see the value in that, I say, especially in that, that type of environment. Kind of. And like, I, I think it's some of the press stuff I've seen is even in you know the aviation industry. Yeah. Um, around some of the you know, airports, etc. It'd be, it'd be great. That's a good, great piece. Yeah, so we, we have recently run many trials in aviation. Of course. We've just sold machines yeah, yeah. into Luton Airport yeah. that are currently being deployed. Okay. They've got a layer scrub and the machines like here, they've got the latest machine in the market, the Rex. Right. So it's a company called Sassy. Uh, they've just invested both in the UK and across Europe. Yeah. It's very exciting. Yeah. Thank you for showing us it. Yeah, that's all right. That concludes part two of our visit up to Killis. Thank you to the guys for checking in. I'd like to say a big thank you to Charlotte for arranging the visit and hosting us while we're up here and giving us a bag of literature and some goodies to take away. So that's part two. As always guys, if you'd like to see more cleaning related content, then make sure you subscribe to all of our social channels and follow along for our weekly videos. That concludes this week's. Thanks for checking in and we'll see you on next week's. That's it for today's video guys. Thanks for checking in. I hope you enjoyed today's content. If you want to see more cleaning, business, and behind the scenes at JCD Cleaning, then make sure you hit the subscribe button here. Likewise, if you want to watch a video that you may not have seen, you can do so here. Also, if you want to follow along on our other social platforms, you can find the links to that in the description below. Thanks for checking in again, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one.